Hello everyone and welcome back for part 3 of my let's play of Endless Space. In our last video we were just finishing up uh, seeing how annoying the pilgrims were uh, in hassling us in neutral space. We had just finished a new design for a missile attack type ship, we were, so we were planning on uh, building some of those. And we were also kind of hoping we could uh, get a relationship going, a diplomatic relationship going with uh, the pilgrims so that they wouldn't you know, keep hassling us in neutral space so that we could kind of expand a little bit more and kind of scout them out, see if uh, they're worth kind of trying to trying to get rid of this early in the game and I just want to say I'm not exactly sure kind of what victory I'm going for and I didn't mention this in my other videos but each of these the buttons to get into the different screens if you hover over them they give you some pretty cool stats um, for example the galaxy screen will show you the scores um, of each player and we are currently ranked we currently have a, a score of, or is that a score that looks like a turn symbol? I'm not sure. Um, but this one shows your dust, your tax rate, your uh, your fids, the amount of fids you're pulling in each turn. We're first in that regard. Um, we have our research here. This one shows our victory conditions, how close we are. We have 54% for expansion victory, so that's interesting. Look, maybe take a look at that. Um, then we have our diplomacy, and so I just wanted to show you that. But anyway, when I first loaded the game, I noticed we have a new deal proposed by the pilgrims, so I'm going to see. Okay, good, excellent. Okay, this is what we want for now, since we don't have a large military power, uh, and we got our asses fairly kicked fairly handedly the last time we were kind of scoping them out we're gonna go ahead and accept that so we are now at peace and our our research if you remember from last time we decided to go with relativistic markets so we could set up some trade so once we have that going we can set up some trade routes okay so our planets are doing good our guy our scout over here is exploring the vast reaches of outer space so we'll go ahead and er end the turn Okay, so let's go ahead and... Oh boy, okay. Oh boy. <laughs> I had a feeling... Okay, so it's our scout, obviously. Um, but this is... Another thing that's cool is this allows us to kind of scope out uh, their ships. So they have a good kinetic deflect. Or they have good melee. Uh, oh, I do want to do manual here. Last time I, I did that, I ended up doing auto and my scout got killed. But I want to go ma uh, manual so I can play my retreat card. And let's just go retreat, retreat, retreat. We probably won't have much damage done to us and that'll allow us to get the hell out of there. But now we have to contend with two civilizations. So <laughs> we'll see. Until we get a couple of uh, attack ships going, um, that's interesting. Uh, until we have a couple attack ships up and running that can beat some of these other factions, I think we'll kind of go for a more peaceful solution. Um, and maybe you know, maybe that might be something we want to just go for in the long run. That's strange. He is only over here. He has no other planets? Oh. That's interesting. That might be something we want to look at. Oh, wait. These are the pilgrims as well? Oh, okay. They're, they're the pilgrims as well. So, yeah. They're AI. Um, when we set up the game at the beginning, we did random AIs. So, they ha just happened to choose the pilgrims as well. But they only have one uh, star system colonized. Let's see. But they want some peace. Mm. I'll, I'll let them come to the table with a peace deal for now. I think what I'm going to do is try to kind of maybe get, um, and they only have one ship over here. 
maybe get two of my missile ships going and then attack them and see if I can take over that planet. I think that might be a good strategy. Okay, so we had our first contact message there. We finished our public-private partnerships on Silphi. So that was a system improvement that increased our science per person on all our planets. So that's great. We get an extra plus, let's see, it's like plus seven science. So that's excellent for our research. What to do now? Okay, we are going to want to, yeah, we can crank these babies out in three turns. And we have a lot of extra dust, so we might want to even consider, yeah, let's, let's do a buyout on that. That will complete next turn. And we'll also, we are pulling in a lot of extra dust. Uh, and we could be, I really want to wait. We could, let's see what happens if I bump the taxes down. They're still unhappy, so. I would have to bump the taxes down quite a bit. Hmm. That's actually pretty good. We were getting plus 41 per turn, uh, dust per turn, but now, and if we bump it down only 30 to, to only 20% to 30, we're getting plus 35, which isn't that bad. But we're, more importantly, we have happy in Treem and content in Way. So they were unhappy and content. And that's and we are still ecstatic in Silphi because of our hero. Uh, and then we bump that back up to 30. That's good. Yeah, that's a good choice. I like that. Okay. Research is going along. What is that little green? There's a little green icon there. I wonder what that means. Oh, it's our approval. Excellent. It's 81%, which is very, very good. Um, very, very good. So that will help us a lot. In fact, our FIDs are up to 302, which is, is second. So there is, there is a faction out there with better FIDs. Okay, let's, our guy over here, our scout over here is retreating, so we'll let him retreat. And we got a lot of, a lot of stuff happened. Alright, so first things first, going to start another missile attack and buy that out. I think this is definitely worth it. And on Treem, we finished our public-private partnerships as well. And there's a pretty good amount of industry as well. We could crank out another missile attack ship. But let's see, what can we do? Our dust is really low. But um, just going with, I mean, that would, let's see, this is ocean. We would get plus four. We are making a lot of dust, plus 30. Um, well we need to do something, right? Actually, we need to do something. Six turns for a colony ship. This might be a good time to do that. Eh, we do, I, I really would like to get this system under our control. And maybe even possibly this one. This would be, a, this is a, a, a good, like, choke point that would enter our main constellation over here, so... I think I'll go ahead and do a colony ship. Um, let's take a look at our colony design. I read uh, last night that you could actually put... Yeah, you can put more seed mods on a, the colony, the colony uh, module, basically, which gives you one person. But our tonnage doesn't allow it. it we need 48 tonnage. And we already have one. I think, actually, if we were to get rid of this, would it work? No. We only have 80 tonnage, and one is 48. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of here. Okay, so we're going to build a colony ship so we can go. And actually, was this? Yes, this was, yes. This was the planet in the last video that I was looking at colonizing next. So let's go ahead and do that. And over here on way, we finished. We finally finished our, our heavy isotope refineries, which will increase our product, our industry, which will make uh, creating creating uh, ships and improvements a lot faster over here. And it's not as high as our other star systems. You can see it would take 
four turns to create a missile attack ship. So what we will do is go for, let's see, our lowest vids beside dust, which we're not really worrying about right now, is science. So I'm going to go ahead and build one of those science buildings, the public-private partnerships, will, which will increase our science by plus one per person. This is our defender. Let's send our defender. I have a feeling there's, there's, well, the pilgrims, we are at peace with the pilgrims. That's right. So let's go over here. Yes. And something else I read last night was that these symbols means that this um, fleet is currently performing a, a guard action, which means in order to leave, you have to attack them. And I think that's only if, I'll test this, but I think it's only if you're not at peace with them. So basically, if an enemy ship was to come in here, um, they would have to attack and destroy this ship in order to leave. That's what the guard is. And there's a couple other symbols for invasion and blockade and stuff like that. So we'll see them as we come along them, along to them. All right, next turn. Okay, let's move our guy, our scout. Keep calling him a guy. I'm sure he's a guy. I'm sure there's some women on that ship. There has to be, right? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, anyway. Uh, are we? Yes, we must be. Oh, plus 32 max. That's good. So I'm going to go ahead and create a fleet at those two missile ships. Going to, And we have a total military power of 295 with this fleet, which is excellent. They didn't. They definitely didn't have 295 military power up there. We do only have six out of six movement, so this is a pretty slow-moving ship. So it's going to take us a while to get over there, which is unfortunate. But we, and hopefully, they don't really build up their military all that much more. Uh, in fact, we might want to want to have uh, slapped a a whatchamacallit, a engine mod on there. So we need, but we do need 30 tonnage, but let's see if we get rid of some of this. Our military, the military power goes down to 113, what was it at? 141, yeah. That's alright for now. It might bite us in the long run, but I'm not too concerned. Okay, so we, that turn we had completed that, that ship, and going to, let's see, we do have a lot of, let's go ahead and, I'd really like to start building up our population a little bit better, so let's go with, yeah, let's go with that farm thing. At this point, you know, we're just kind of experimenting with things. I don't know if I'm doing the correct thing. I'm really not sure. So let's see if, if we can. Yes, we can leave. And I would assume that's because we are at peace with them. And what you'll notice is um, we our sensors on this ship are very low. We don't have a sensor module in uh, the support module slot. Um, so we can only see ships that are within this radius. But if we had a bigger one, we could possibly see ships that are in Esther here and Gaikon, these star systems. Okay, so that's good. We have one more turn on our research. Go ahead, end turn. Okay, so we finished our research. So we can start trading. Um, firstly, I do want to take a look at our next course of action. For research, um, I'd like to go into this. Take a look at the we do get Hyperium. Um, I think we have a couple planets that have Hyperium, if I remember correctly. No, maybe not. I thought maybe that that might have been another game. Of the first game I was playing. Let's take a look again. That's what this core mining would open up. That research. Uh, that strategic resource, resource rather. Let's see, what do we want to do? Is this 
such a hard decision. Let's let's go a little bit more up into our military. I would I, w I don't want to be the the guy that everybody beats up on the playground of the galaxy. So I, w I so I would like to get a variety of ships going. Just so I don't get my ass handed to me again. All right, so you have three movement points left. So go over here. I think probably the pilgrims So, this is a good part of having long-range sensors. You can see the pilgrims from this planet. Okay. What? Well, no. Okay. Here's my reasoning. Um, this is their home system. You can see by the crown here. And they haven't expanded into any other of these areas. So, more, more, most likely, they don't own this one. But they do have a ship here, which is probably just kind of chilling out exploring the galaxy as it were um, I'm gonna turn my ship around here and I'll do that next turn I'll make sure to do that and this guy is our defender he has kinetic and this one okay we can't quite see um, its breakdown but it has 102 military power and most like more than likely it is just kinetic okay so still fire was done wow that only took one turn Okay, let's go ahead and build. Let's actually let's design a, like a fast-moving kinetic type of ship. Um, or how about a fast, a fast missile ship? So we want to have. A an engine and then we'll fill out the rest with weapons and I really would like to get up to yeah let's convert that what's the next missile it's up here yeah let's actually hold off I think I'll go, I'll finish this research and then I'll go for specialized isotopes, which will give me a little bit better missiles. I think I'll go like the missile track right now, especially since it's the first uh, attack phase. Um, then again, if it goes horribly wrong and I don't destroy them on that phase, then we might be kind of screwed. So it might actually be a good idea to wait and see how this guy, this these two attack missile attack ships do and we can send them right over here instead of having to go all the way over here which is a very long trip okay and so Silphi, I don't wanna I just let's just go with we can't do moons yet and let's just go with our tourism or no our, ex, our extreme option exchange oh trade routes rights okay so we want to get some trade routes going I could have done that last turn I forgot okay that's all right so let's go over here, and we can't trade with them. I think, hmm. oh, I think we might need to be at peace. Let's see. Oh, they really don't like peace. They don't like us. I don't think they like us very much. And right, it shows cold because this is focusing on them. We want to focus on us. Go over here, see if we can make a deal. All right, cool. Okay, so we can trade technologies, we can trade dust per turn or a flat fee, we can trade resources, or we could trade, it looks like we can trade star systems as well. Let's see. They have a couple things that we don't have. We have a couple things that they don't have. Let's see what they... I'm going to look for something similar. 130. Isotope fabrication for core mining? No, that is way overpowered on my scale. We can give them relativistic markets for... Let's see. Particle sta scanning. I wish it... I wish they would... Um, 
show would be better. Um, that'd be great. I'll tell you what I use. I wish they would show the breakdowns of what each of those unlocks do, rather than having to go all the way over here. So our turn, our alternative armor suit over here is what we were doing. Particle scanning. Let's go for particle scanning, and I will give you relativistic markets. Hmm. And isotope fabrication. All right. Yeah, I think these guys will be our friends. So, and well, let's see what else we can pull out here. No, we can't do that. Uh, this is heavily favored on their side, but these guys seem cool. Let's let's go with that. Um, did they accept the deal? Not sure. I forget what we. I even forget what we uh, <laughs> were researching. Oh, okay, it was over here. So particle scanning, which is uh, we get a planetary ex planetary exploit, so we get a better um, dust exploit, and we get a cisort satellites. Cool. Plus three influence area. Excellent. Very cool. So that was a good uh, good deal. Oh yeah, it says deal accepted by the pilgrims. And we finish that. And let's go to the next turn. Okay, so we finished our alternative armors. And like I said in the last turn we're gonna go right for specialized isotopes so we can get better missiles yep that seems like a pretty good idea I think and we wanted to turn this guy around so he doesn't Ooh. thought I said turn around hmm you might not be able to turn around well it's all right Actually, now we're finally discovering that they do have more than one. Let's just go with manual, and we'll, we'll retreat. They do have more than one star system colonized right now. It looks like they have at least two, possibly four. So we'll just play our retreat card. One thing I wish you could kind of... I'm not sure if you can. Maybe you, you can. Um, I know H does uh, hide the interface, but I'm, I'm wondering if there's a way maybe the developers could put in a way to just kind of fast forward the combat because it's very cinematic it's very cool but um, but sometimes you just want to retreat or sometimes you just want to kind of resolve the battle quickly because most of it is done behind the scenes and it's just for kind of show a cool cin cinematic view so you could kind of just play your three cards and then just hit fast forward kind of a thing but but yeah, maybe it might be a good idea. So we're retreating over here. We'll stay out of here. So I'm thinking that this system and this system are populated by that guy as well. But we might be able to go in and smack him. We'll see. Okay, so we took care of that. Silphi. Now we have a bunch of new options. Uh, we have two new system improvements from our last research. So we get more defense and plus six HP, uh, ship, plus six ship XP, or we could get plus three influence area. And I think we'll go for our more XP for our ships first. And we're still cranking away on this colony ship. Should be done soon. And we're cranking away on that improvement over there. And let's keep our ships moving along. Okay. So this guy landed here, so we can go up here now. Wow, that was quick. Okay, wormholes might be, might be, um, they might use up all of your, of your, I only had three movement points, and that definitely wasn't the length of this wormhole. So what might happen is when you hit a wormhole, you go straight through it to the end, no matter how many movement points you have, at least, as long as you at least have one to go through it, to like activate it. That's my thought. This guy's chilling out here, but let's take a look at this uh, this place over here. Oh. Oh, that, this guy's a bitch. <laughs> let's actually... Let's attack him. 
this it, we only have a defender here, but he is only this might be their like their scout. Um, it doesn't give me details right now, but let's go ahead and initiate combat. She's a seeker. Yeah, this looks like it's there. Yeah, nine uh, speed. So let's go manual just to make sure. This might be a, a very lopsided battle, but let's see how bad I can mess this up. So I want to go. I want to go sabotage. There we go. Nano repair. Then offense. Why exactly am I doing that? I don't know. I don't really know the. Uh, well, that was interesting. Huh. Oh well. Uh, we'll see how we do here. I don't know exactly why I picked these. You know, I don't know much about the combat. Uh, I, I don't know a, a lot about the combat system, or at least enough to kind of explain my choices at this point. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see. It's interesting also, the AI seems to um, name their fleets. So for example, this guy is called Exploration, whereas my fleet is just called Alpha. This is terrible. I hope he doesn't counter my offense. But the first two phases for these two ships are obviously going to be very much not, not much going on since we don't have any anything but kinetic mods modules rather okay so we do get a nice plus 40 percent kinetic damage so this should, should help yeah i have no idea if we'll actually defeat him though but it doesn't look like we're going to we'll take a big chunk of his health but it'll be a draw but we should be able to finish him off next turn is good. Next turn. Ooh, what's this? Dark Matter Reacts. Oops. Oh boy. Pirate ship. Or defender, huh? Where? Over here. Why isn't he attacking the other guy? We're gonna go manual and retreat. And I'll look at that message later once we get out of here. Yeah, there's no way for me to like click on which phase I want to go to. So you kind of just have to play it out, which uh, I don't know. It's a little bit annoying, especially for these just you know kind of retreat battles. So that pirate is probably going to take out the other, uh, oh boy, another pirate. We've got to stay the hell out of here. I'm wondering, I wonder if pirates can go through warp gates. I wonder if they're, they're like factions, but just kind of like unofficial. I wonder if they have to go through a tech tree and all that. So what was this? Okay. Experiments into the nature of dark matter and non-baryonic particles have had an unexpected side effect. Local gravity fluctuations and atypical radiation indicate some sort of chain reaction among the particles that make up dark matter. Blame Ray Noy, the scientist who started it all. Minus 25% influence area on system. Hmm, so I guess it's just kind of a random event. And now you can see Silphi has much less radius, uh, the influence radius. And I'm wondering, that probably happened on a galaxy-wide scale, so that probably happened to everybody. In fact, in fact, this does look a little bit smaller. And actually, you can see Wei is now a colony. It was an outpost, and it didn't have an area of influence, so that has changed. Uh, I don't know if that changed recently. I wasn't really paying attention. But, so we have our... Okay. 
think the good course of action would be to put these guys to the test. Go in here and mess some stuff up. And 138 to 295. We should be able to um, defeat these pirates. Let me attack. It attacks enemy fleets in the star system. We probably will get a choice, I would assume. Yes, okay, cool. Let's go for these pirates first. So we're pretty well... Um, it, the balance is pretty well in our favor, but we'll see. I'm wondering if there's a card that'll increase our missile. Uh, okay, so let's select the first action. Da -da -da -da. Let's go for tactics and not uh, nano repair. And then offense again. They did counter our tactics, but our missiles should be uh, better than them, so we'll see what happens. Here come the missiles. I don't see any being uh, intercepted yet. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> that was really cool. Unfortunately, the cinematic didn't show their ship blowing up, but that was very, very cool. I think we have a very powerful force here. And that was cool. You could see the missiles um, just flying, flying, flying. And then, oh boy. Wow, we did 711 HP damage at 93% efficiency, and they only had 209 HP. Oh, wow. That's impressive. Okay, and we can only attack once per turn. But I think we can start cleaning up the galaxy with these things. In fact, I might want to consider building another one. Um, maybe making it a little bit faster. Um, but it might be good. Yeah, I like that a lot. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so let's... This guy is going over here. He's all set. He has five movement left. We'll just kind of keep him over there. Actually, let's put him on Antari. So here more centralized location and that again that was a war, uh, wormhole so he went through very quickly and this was their attacker last turn he's got zero movement points over here way finished its science uh, improvement and let's see Yeah, because we had that galaxy event, it might be good to go for our cis or satellites. No, I'm not entirely sure. Like, what is exactly does this, you know, affect? I mean, I know it. Yeah, I know it's like a circle of influence, but does that mean one if this overlaps it, we automatically can colonize, perhaps? Maybe? Or maybe there's some kind of influence that happens um, in terms of, you know, approval or something like that? I'm not sure, but that might be something to look at in the future. Now this, this is good, and we need something to build over here. Let's go for, yeah, let's, uh, it's five turns, four turns, four turns. Let's go with, yeah, let's build a satellite, see what it does, see what plus three does. All right, next turn. Wow, the, <laughs> he got out of there fast, didn't he? I have a feeling the uh, the purple pilgrims are gonna be attacking over there. Let's actually, we have six. I don't think we'll reach this white this white sun in six turn. Yeah, we won't. And let's see. Resolve this. Yes, these pirates are probably gonna attack us. Yes, they are. Okay, this. Three ships. Hmm. So they have three pirate ships. It's all kinetic, but there's three of them. Now we did... We might need another missile ship in order to win the battle against these guys. We do have more military power than three of their ships. Yes, we do. So it'll be an even battle technically, but if we don't destroy them on the long-range phase, then we're pretty much screwed. 
Probably. That, that would be my guess. <clears throat> that would be my guess, at least. Okay. So we retreated. We'll probably retreat back here. Okay, good. Hmm, maybe we shouldn't have done that. 295. We'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. Retreat. I think I'm going to have you... Let's build that ship. And I don't know. We won't buy it out. We are getting plus 28 dust per turn. I don't think we need to buy it out. Let's be patient this time. And I think I mentioned this earlier, but it looks like once you're on a route, a jump gate route, you can't turn around. You have to f go through it. Uh, it looks like they... Mm, the orange guys are... I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't know why I don't like that, but I just don't like it. Let's see. What can we do next? Support module. Shield defense module. We could probably go for some more. Is this kinetic? Where's the kinetic? Um, This is the kinetic. Deflected kinetic. That might be a good path to go down. And plus we'll finally get some lasers. Ah, that's where we need Hyperium. So we might want to go this way. So we can get lasers in three turns, but we need some Hyperium. But we can get Hyperium from our good old Pilgrim Fens over here. Oh. Damn. We can't get it. It's unfortunate. Are there any planets star systems that have Hyperium nearby. Is this our scout? Yeah, this is our scout. Go explore, scout. Do what you do best. I want to find some Hyperium. So, right now it's... Well, we actually... Yeah, we get some better kinetic deflection, which would be good. Because most of these early ships from these factions and these pirates are all kinetic based anyway. So nine more turns for a new hero. Actually, let's hire this guy because I'd like to put him on our fleet. Excellent. Now with this guy we get plus 20% min and max damage. We get plus 20% um, military power. We get much better defense against all the types of damage. And we get plus 20%. Yeah, that's. I'm not sure why I didn't do that in the first place. So let's resolve this. It's probably going to attack us. There it is. And we are thoroughly outmatched. Thoroughly, thoroughly. Not by much. We might need two more. So we'll go ahead and retreat. We should have the armor to not get messed up too bad. Let's actually, let's do tactics and then let's retreat. We can at least try to destroy a couple of their ships, I suppose. We'll see what happens. I definitely don't want to engage them at melee range. They didn't. We took out two of their ships. Oh, we did. Yeah, they took out one of ours. Yeah. Oh, well. We took out two of theirs. They took out one of ours. So that's fairly, fairly good. And it looked like they were... A lot of stuff was going on there. <laughs> so that's all right, though. And we did get a level up on our hero, which is great. We will want to use that for... Let's see. Better offense. Let's go the offensive route that we did yes we, they lost two we lost one which is all right 
uh, our hero was injured. That means... Oops. Whoops. There we go. Uh, it says he's in fleet. Because hmm. I thought when he gets injured, he goes into some other state. Okay, and yes, we did do that research. We're going for... Oh, actually, yes, we're going for lasers and deflector. So we'll actually... No, and nobody else has lasers at this point, I believe, so that would be good. And our systems are good. Let's go next turn. Okay, we completed something. We completed hardened framing at SoFi. So let's go ahead and start cranking out some more missile attack ships. Although we might want to, well, we need, right, we need Hyperion for the lasers, so. And I think, let's do a missile attack ship. It'll only take two turns, that's very good. Well, it says two here, it says three here. Hmm. That might be just semantics, basically. And we do have a trade route going to Esther. Now, where's Esther? Okay, that's them, right here. Did we set up that trade route? What the hell's going on there? Uh, is that like automatically set up? Trade with Esther, do we have a deal going with her? No, that might just be, okay, I guess science, maybe, this is my guess, maybe um, it's just kind of set up automatically because we have uh, we have a uh, trade. Yeah. Uh, not sure. Let's see here. We're going over here. Looks like we're not going to make it. And this is our defender. I'm not sure exactly how it regenerates health. Right now he has 330.1. So we'll make note of that and see if it goes up next turn. And we're retreating here. So 330.1, let's remember that. Oh, and we do have a colony ship ready? Oh, whoops. I missed that. Uh, so let's go ahead up to Gaikon and colonize that. I'm not sure if our purple pilgrims are going to like that, but we'll see. Okay. Yes, now we do have, we have a resource abundance on Titanium 70, which means we will get an extra minus 30% industry cost on modules using Titanium 70, which is excellent. Um, let's take a look at, I think we have, which ones use Titanium 70? I think there is, yes. Okay, these missiles use them. Um, so now, wow, they only cost 2.4. They were at like 4 point something. Well, that wouldn't really make sense for minus 20, but they're much cheaper, basically. And now let's go for an exploitation. It is a jungle, correct? So we're going to want to go for, yes, definitely go for food. We're very good with industry in this system. And we're a little low on science and dust. But that's because we just started out. So we should be good. We also might want to consider colonizing this guy. It is in our system, so we don't need a colony ship. But we do need more than one person. And so that's going to be in at least five turns. Okay. All right, next turn. Let's resolve our movement. We have Eden Incense over here. Just one uncolonizable barren planet with metallic ground. Just but worse for food. Really, yeah, this, this looks like a system we don't want to even consider. Let's go over here. And this is our scout, right? Okay, yes. One of our scouts. No, our defender. And he had 300. Okay, so he did. His HP did go up. I'm guessing it'll go up better if it we're docked in a system we have under control. So I'm going to send him over here and test that theory. And this is our missile attack ship. So we'll go over here as well. And the good thing about this area is it's all wormholes, so it's pretty much one turn, one turn. So that's good. There's pirates over here that we kind of want to mess with. 
I think we might want to leave. Um, um, yeah, I'm not sure if pirates can go through wormholes. If, if they could, I would focus on destroying the pirates. But if they can't, then I would focus on going over here and messing these guys up while they're still small. And let's take a look at the pilgrims are one. Okay, the status and score, I see. That's what that means. So the first icon is status, i.e. it's a little clock icon. So that means right now I'm moving or doing my turns. And then this next number is your score. So the purple pilgrims are actually doing better than us. It looks like they do. I mean, I haven't explored much beyond their this system here. And I might want to consider looking around a little bit more to see what they have. But yeah, I'm just not sure. Okay, so we did complete that missile attack ship. So we're going to create it and send it up to, yes, to our main fleet over here. And let's get to work on another one. And actually, we did get some better research a couple turns ago. It might have been see if we can, yes, we get an upgrade that goes, our military power goes up to 168, and the cost goes through the roof as well, mm. and we go for offensive chaff, which is not what we want, we want protection against um, kinetic, and we do have a better, yeah, let's go with that. So our high isotope plating will deflect five kinetic projectiles per round. And we have seven of those, so that's 40 kinetic projectiles per round. That seems like a good amount. And then we have seven torpedoes, and these are the much higher torpedoes. It is a lot more expensive, but it, it seems like it would be more, more effective. And that's what we want. Now it's probably going to be just as slow, probably six for attack. So let's apply that. And we can do a, let's see, a retrofit on this guy. And retrofit on this guy. And the rest are, yes, a scout and a defender. And we can also rename in here as well. We can create fleets. We can, I think. Merge. Yes, these are two attack missile attacks. So we're gonna merge those, and you can do that either on the military uh, military screen, or you could even do it through this screen by control clicking and shift clicking and all that. So this guy is going there. He doesn't have any movement points left. We need to build something on Treem, and like I said, we're going to build, and that's only just two more. Well, actually. Yeah, just four turns instead of three. Not bad. And we do have we have kinetic deflect and then a lot of missile attack. And it's military power, I guess, is the sum of those two. So 140 plus 42, so 182. Um, <coughs> yes, wow, 497 already just with these two. When we bump it up to three, that'll be much better. And we do, I do really want to heal this guy. In fact, it might be worth creating a repair ship. Oops. Re repair ship. And give him that repair module right here. Plus fly five fleet HP per battle phase and plus 20 per turn on a friendly sector on the ship. So I think, yes, we can only give him one of those. This is, I think this will be kind of our support kind of ship. So we'll also give it, and we'll we'll pair it with an attack fleet. So we'll give it some long-range sensors. It will be susceptible. Uh, what's this? Uh, that's right. We get plus forty max and then damage, but at the cost of health, we might want to. Mm, yeah, that might be something to consider um, for those <coughs> those attack ships as well. Um, it's going to be traveling with slow ships, so I don't think it'll be worth it to give it a good engine. And then I think we'll just slap on a couple. I want it this to be fairly cheap 
uh, 55 is fairly cheap, but I don't want it to be. It's going to be pretty susceptible. That seems pretty good. Corvette, which means it gets, yes, we want this to be a, a Corvette because it gets minus percentage um, tonnage for support modules. Module engine, module repair, module scout. So, and let's see. Yeah, I think eh, let's let's do that. That sounds good. And we can build it. We could build it on way. Take four turns, but it is far away. I don't want to build it all the way over there. So I think for now on way we'll go with. Let's see how we doing on. Dust is very good. Let's go with, and it's far away, so it doesn't need all that much defense. We're not going to build much trade route. Let's give it another trade route. See what happens there. I'm curious to see because our other systems don't have any trade routes. I'm curious to see what happens. Okay, and we're all set and turn. Alright, so we finished our unstable isotope manipulation research. I think I think that should be good for now. Let's actually ultra dense slugs. That that's our third tier. You can see you can kinda tell for um, for all these weapons, you can tell and defense, you can tell what their level is by how much of it is shaded and unshaded. For example, this missile is shaded only to its fins here, but this missile is shaded about halfway up its body, so it's a better one. And for the kinetic weapons, you can kind of see it's how many shells are shaded for its, you know, its basic, um, basically its effectiveness or its level. So this one's two, three, four, five, five with white, you know, yeah, and I guess also, yeah, as you go up, and then the last one is completely shaded, white on the vehicle and blue on the background. Adamantium, hmm. where's Wolverine? All right, so I think we're good on our military right now. We don't really have to defend against much. I think we're vastly better than the competition, so... Let's go and, ah, this is a new card. Our en none of our enemies have missiles, though. So that's, uh, I don't think we really need that. Hmm, this one might be good. Photon distortion camouflage card would give us plus 40% efficiency on anti-missiles. Um, and minus 20, actually, no, that's anti-missiles. So that would actually be, yeah, that'd be, their missiles against us and they don't have missiles yet so let's see let's see let's see I know I'm wasting a lot of time just kind of looking around here but mm, we would get more population I don't think that's really an issue right now sustainability we could colonize desert ah baryonic shielding okay cruiser I didn't see this I remember in the last video geez in the last video I was looking around for all the new ship classes and finally here they are so we have a, a cruiser over here and we have a battleship over here and looks like that's the only one so let's actually go for and we will uh, oh we will be able to colonize lava planets which are great for industry as well so let's go for baryonic shielding it'll take us six turns so we also might want to consider focusing on some and we do have a missile attack ship here which I didn't see uh, I would have seen it actually. Uh, and let's send them up here. There's a new deal proposed by the Orange Pilgrims. They're offering us peace. Hmm. They are fairly. We'll go right now. I mean, we could always just turn around and stab them in the back. So, and wow, way that satellite gave us a lot of influence. Plus three gave us a lot of influence. That might be something we consider doing here. Now, what what are our ship statuses here? We have one missile attack there and two 
there. Do we have some building? Yes, Treem is building a missile attack ship, so that would put it as, as us at four. So I think that's fairly good. Actually, we did want to build a repair ship, so let's go ahead and do that and see how much it costs. It would cost a little bit too much to automatically build it. And let's go resolve our movement. So now, over here, we have scouts, two missile attacks from defender. Our defender is regaining health. 360 out of uh, 507. That's quite good. I think our repair ship will definitely help, and it might take a couple of turns to get everybody everybody uh, back into shape. We might want to consider doing two repair ships and maybe even one more missile attack ship. But let's send our scout over here. Is that a new? Yes, it is. It's a lot of military power. Mm. Okay, so what are these alerts here? Uncovering the stars. You have mapped half the known galaxy. An achievement as practical as it is impressive. Alright, so that's cool. So basically, these stars are half the galaxy. And I think we had a game set to small galaxy size. Let me check my time here. All right, almost done. And so, yes, we took care of this. Our research here, we took care of this. And let's see. We're chilling out here because we're regaining health. And this guy is moving. And our systems are good. And you have any more movement points in here? No. Okay, so let's end turn right because that was a wormhole again. So we went straight through. And I think we're going to keep out of Green's way over here. Did we? No, we don't. We haven't done first contact with him yet. Oh boy, here comes first contact. <laughs> let's get the hell out of here. Let's go over here. Ita. Okay, so that is one of there. So we have first contact with. Oh, it's another Pilgrim's Empire? Are you serious? Jesus. Oh, and the orange. Neutral. But it is. Uh, okay. Current value is minus 22, and it is evolving downward because of the score. So they don't. The AI bases its decisions on your score. And it looks like we're at peace with these guys, and it's. Okay, so the the evolution trend is based on, well, the current value is based on a, a number of factors along with the evolution trend. So we're balanced there, and we're balanced here, but we're still at Cold War with them. And we can't trade with them because we're not at peace. Uh, let's look at actually doing another trade. I would like Hyperion. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's close out of here. So do we have any movement points left? Yes, we do. He, uh, he's going to hit that one <laughs> next. So maybe I'll just chill out here for now. And see if I can... Because I do have the long-range sensors, so I can tell if he's there. I should be able to. Uh-oh. Pilgrims want Titanium 70, but they don't want to give us anything for it. Oh, this might strain relations. No, I don't want to give you that. Sorry. Okay, so let's resolve our movement. Again, our our missile attack ship is fairly slow. So we finished our repair ship on Silphi. So let's create a fleet out of him and send him. Oh, yeah, he is 7 out of 7. And that the base movement must be based on the ship class. So we'll send him up here to help out with repairs. And we'll also create another one. Alright, next turn. And it looks like the video, uh, I'll be closing out this video very soon. In fact, I might just do it now. Um, uh oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go manual, we'll retreat, and then we'll call this video to a close. They think we're blockading. We're really not. We really aren't. We're, 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 we're very peaceful people. We really are. It might not seem like it, but you know, looks can be deceiving. Alright. Come on.
we all know what's gonna happen. Okay, so we did. We suffered no damage. They didn't either. We just retreated, which is good. It's just our scout ship. We want to get the hell out of there. Oh no, where'd our scout go? Oh, that sucks. Retreat failed. Huh. So I guess your retreats can fail sometimes. Maybe if you don't have a neutral or friendly system to retreat back into, perhaps. So that was a dumb move on my part. And they probably don't like us very much right now. Which is illogical. They should, shouldn't matter to them. Yeah, now they're trending downward. All right. And let's see. Okay, so Gaikon finished its exploitation. So let's get something started on Gaikon. Let's see. Let's go for Hydromiel would be very nice to have. So let's actually go ahead and colonize this planet. It'll only take four turns. That'll increase our food, which is good because that's pretty much the lowest. But also, we want to go for science as well. Okay. And everything else looks good. Let's resolve these movement points. All right. And I think that's going to do it. In our next video, we're going to be continuing exploration. And we're going to be looking into destroying these pirates, I think. We're going to try to make peace with all our friends over here. <laughs> um, and yeah, it should be fun times. See you later.